Good afternoon. President Barroso and Prime Minister Letta are here to talk to you about We all know that Italy's economic success will crucially depend on progress, namely on two fronts, reducing the enormous mountain of debt that stands in the way of Italy's future and unlocking the country's growth potential by implementing structural reforms. In this context, Prime Minister Letta sketched out an ambitious way forward for Italy. The Commission noted with satisfaction that the Italian government and the leadership of Prime Minister Letta continues to move into the right direction and is eager to secure a stable majority for it. We see renewed ambition towards uh, crucial reforms for growth and jobs and also the commitment to uh, consolidation of public finances. The European Commission continues to stand by Italy in the context of our economic policy coordination and also by making available fresh European Union funds for Italy during the period 2014-2020. For example, almost 30 billion euros, I repeat, 30 billion euros under the structural and investment funds. You see that if this money is properly invested, what a very important contribution it can give to the Italian economy. Vogliamo fare di questo semestre, e questo è il tema di cui abbiamo parlato, un semestre in cui si parli molto di crescita e in cui si parli molto di lavoro. Queste saranno le due parole chiave. Vogliamo che questo avvenga perché sappiamo che soltanto la crescita e il lavoro sono in grado di sconfiggere il malessere sociale che è drammatico in molte parti d'Europa e sicuramente in molte parti d'Italia. E questo malessere sociale rende i nostri cittadini molto in difficoltà nei confronti della stessa idea di Europa. Abbiamo davanti elezioni europee che saranno molto difficili, difficili se non siamo in grado di dare dell'Europa un'idea diversa, l'Europa che è la soluzione, non l'Europa che è il problema, come qualcuno sbagliando racconta. We believe that um, Italy has made enormous efforts in recent years, both in terms of stabilizing its public finances and starting to tackle the structural obstacles to growth and job creation. And confidence is returning to Italy. I think it's very important to underline this because as Prime Minister Letta just said, this is the first year he remembers in the last years that Italy is not beginning uh, one year with some kind of financial emergency. There was that spirit, by the way, not only with Italy, some time ago. And thanks to the efforts of the Italian authorities and Italian people, who recognize the very important sacrifices the Italian people uh, has been uh, doing, it is uh, today um, a much better scenario than, than before. And I